Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're back, mwah, mwah, kisses. My name is Rosie for short. And today I'm gonna be sharing my favorites of July. I feel like this year is passing by so fast and quickly and we are more than halfway through the year, wow. So I'm actually wearing this top today that I did share in a past video, which was a haul, but I've never used it to go out. And I recently found it, so I thought, why not wear it for a video? And I think this is the same top that I'll be wearing for Little Lynn's upcoming birthday party. And I think I found a good place to be filming. I like this spot because I have one window in front of me. It's one of the few windows. I wish I had more lighting, but so far I think this is working good. So going back to my July favorites, without talking anymore, let's begin. Okay, let's begin with beauty. And what I really liked for the month of July as my face foundation is Super BB by Physicians Formula. And this brand is cruelty free, which is great. They do not harm any animals. And this is the Super BB hashtag insta ready so they have two that are super bb the one that is the white bottle and this one the black bottle so i haven't tried the white bottle so i can't compare both but this is the first time that i buy this one and i've had it for a couple of months i hadn't used it until now because previously i had the 100 percent pure foundation which i did share with you guys so i used that one up so now i'm trying this one that i had and oh my goodness i like it so much what i really like about it is the coverage i like that it covers acne or any fading spots that you have it covers them really well with just one layer. I feel like with other foundations, sometimes you have to apply about two layers, but not with this one. This one, I feel like just one layer is more than enough and it will do a great job at covering any imperfections on your face. Another great thing is that it will last long. And I've noticed that especially here in Miami where we have such hot weather and just coverage is really important because you go out and after a few minutes you feel like all of your makeup is just melting and not with this i applied in the morning and when i check on my makeup in the afternoon i still see a good coverage so i really like that and so far it's been working out really great with my combination skin so i really like that um only downside, I feel like the bottle is too small, but other than that, it's been working really great on my skin and it's something that I will get in the future. The next favorite is something that I got for my boyfriend. And my last favorites, I gave him something I shared with you guys what I gave him. And again, for July, I gave him something else. I just wanted him to have something more on his work desk. I wanna give him different things things that are unique or that they look interesting and what I was able to find is this piece it's like a decor piece but it's inspired by Galileo and basically he came up with a tool that would predict the weather and this decor piece has exactly that so the one that I chose can tell you how the weather is like in Fahrenheit it can predict the weather it will let you know if it's raining if there's fog if it's cloudy it's so cool that it will let you know and then in the middle has the clock and a thermometer and i specifically picked this one because i saw other ones that look similar but they had less items like maybe they just had the temperature or the weather predictor but this one i felt like it had more to offer and for a lower price so i went with this one and i wasn't sure whether to get it or not because it had positive and bad reviews and from my experience i tested it out before i even gave it to my boyfriend and it works perfectly i like the size it's not too big it's not too small so i really liked it and george liked it too and he has it on his desk so i think it's a really cute idea something different 
that you can give it as a gift for someone or even yourself i really like these type of things they look so interesting to me and they are unique okay so moving on to home decor and this is where mostly my money has been going because I just want to make our home look nice so I'm not spending money on makeup or clothes I feel like I already have enough of that so I really want to make our home look nice and everyone that has been coming in they tell us that it looks really nice so what I bought and that I really like are these geometric decor and it's by the brand Umbra and I have really been liking this brand I found out about them on Amazon and so far everything that they make it is so beautiful I really like it it's so modern stylish and it makes your home look kind of fancy so what I got are the geometric decor and the one that I have is gold but they also have it in black and copper I believe and it's really nice and the great thing about it is that they are so versatile so you can either place it on the wall or you can have it as decor on a desk or any other furniture piece or you can even hang them so there's three ways that you can display them and like you said it looks so pretty something simple and really nice and I also thought they were being much smaller than they are but when I saw it in person they are so big so yeah I really like them and I really like how they look next in decor are my round mirrors basically when I don't know how I'm going to decorate a certain place or room I just kind of forget about it and let it go for a few days and then I just brainstorm ideas and then when I'm sure about what I have then I go and look for it online and that way I've noticed that helps me to save money because sometimes we will spend money on things that we just think they look pretty but then we don't use it or we don't know how we're going to use it right but I feel like this technique is helping me to really get things that I know that I will like and that I will use and so what I had in mind were round mirrors and I wanted to get round mirrors but with gold color around them so basically like a gold edge and I didn't find anything with the specific idea that I had in mind but I did find round mirrors that were different sizes and that's what I wanted I wanted big medium and small and what I did I went ahead and spray painted the edges to make it look like what I had in mind and I think it came out really nice not perfectly um, but it looks super nice and looking at everything together I feel like it combines really nicely and then in the center what I bought was I can and I will quote that I also got from Amazon and it's gold kind of like foil and then I also got the frame in gold to match that and it looks super nice it looks super pretty and half of those items I have it in my bedroom and then the other half I have it in the hallway so that way the wall wouldn't look too busy but yes I like it so far and it looks super nice and pretty my next favorite is going to be entertainment so it's a movie and the movie is Pee Wee I had no idea they came out with another movie last year and I remember Pee Wee from when I was a little girl and I love his character in case you're not familiar with Pee Wee Pee Wee is a grown man but his personality is that of a little boy so he's so gentle he's so nice he's so innocent and everyone likes Pee Wee he's so charismatic but because of that some people take advantage of Pee Wee and well in this movie he gets to work with Joe Manganello. I think that's how we say his name but he is Sofia Bergetta's husband and he also came out in the series True Blood and so it's cool because Joe Manganello, his name in the movie is the same so they used their real names in the movie and so it was so funny it's something that I got to see with little Lynn and my boyfriend and I was laughing the whole time I think this is the movie that has made me laugh the most it's so nice and different and I really like that part where he fills up a balloon with air and then he's 
just making some with the balloon in the Amish community where they don't use any type of technology they don't have any phones computers internet no nothing and they really do exist here in the united states in some areas up north but yeah it was really nice watching the movie something that you can see with your family and yeah it was super funny i really enjoyed it and the other movie also on netflix and the thing is we are starting to see more movies on netflix because we were going to the movie theaters a lot this year and from all the movies to be honest i would have paid just for two of them the other ones i didn't like them that much but yeah tomorrowland is the other movie that i really liked and in this movie you get to see george clooney he's really handsome and this movie is futuristic so you get to see a lot of elements that could possibly exist in the future and i really like futuristic movies because in the past i used to have a lot of dreams where i saw myself living like that or who knows maybe it was just me getting a glimpse of another galaxy planet i don't know but yeah so in tomorrowland it's a movie about saving the planet they get to see that the planet is going to end so they just want to be able to save it and i really like the little girl she is so pretty and the way she speaks with her accent from England is so adorable and she's a robot. She's so smart. I'm not too happy with the end because I kind of did agree with the person who was in charge of that futuristic world and so I, I do see his point. So if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm referring to and I don't want to mention in case you haven't seen the movie, so I don't want to ruin it for you. But basically, something kind of tragic happens in the end because they don't agree with how the world is going to turn out. Um, but I do see his point. And kind of the same is happening nowadays where we get all these signs from the planet like climate change and the glaciers melting and then the bees and everything is connected so we get signs from the planet that something is not right something has to change and we as humans have to work on it well the movie mentions that and so we are getting plenty of chances and then in the end we do have to live up with the consequence but yeah it was a different movie a little bit of action and futuristic and sci-fi so i love those type of movies so those were my favorites of july but what were your favorites i would love to know and you can leave me a comment in the comment section or just to say hi or anything that you want to let me know thank you so much for watching and if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up and that lets me know that you liked the video thanks for watching as always and i'll see you in the next video kisses bye